Hi you guys, it's Loren, and today on Simply Loren, we're going to be following the Towering Peaks Bob Ross tutorial, and I'm actually doing it in my bullet journal. As you can see, it's not made for watercolors or acrylics or anything like that, and obviously Bob Ross doesn't paint with watercolor, but that's all I had with me considering I have been moving uh, out of my apartment, but um, also I just thought it would be kind of fun to challenge myself and use watercolor for the first time. So. Uh, here I am painting the sky, and I'll have clips of Bob Ross throughout the video talking about what I'm supposed to be doing, and then you'll be able to see what I'm actually doing because a lot of it's really different considering I didn't have an actual watercolor white or know what, at all what I was doing with the watercolors. We're going to lift it. We're going to lift it. This sort of fluffs the cloud. Just fluffs it right up, like so. See? And then very lightly. There we go. Isn't that fantastic? Did you do a happy little cloud that easy? As you can see here, the white I'm using is actually acrylic and I'm trying to mix it with the watercolor. I don't recommend doing this. Usually I would keep those types of paints separate, but that's all I had and so that's what we were going with today. Also, I wanted to say that he made those clouds look like they were easy to paint, but oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe it was because I was using the acrylic on top of the watercolor, but I was struggling. <laughs> also, it might look like I'm just stabbing the paper with my brush, but that's just because I fast forwarded the video so that you guys didn't have to watch the full 30 minutes. You have to make an almighty decision. Where's your mountain live? I think he's going to live. He is now. Right there. Right there. Maybe there's a bump there. You just sort of make a decision and, and put it in. Mountains grow in all kinds of shapes and colors. There, you're restricted only by your imagination. Speaking of restrictions, I didn't have a scrapey tool either, so I just found this spoon and then tried to like paint the watercolor onto the spoon. With acrylic, you can usually use anything around your house that has a flat surface because the paint is thick enough to where that'll work, but obviously watercolor is not as thick and so it's hard to layer it on top of something like that. So I kind of just ended up painting and then using water to blend it out. I'm not going to lie, it feels really good to be able to paint because I've been pretty stressed out this last week with trying to move my stuff out of my apartment and trying to pass my classes for summer school and just manage my work on top of everything. Um, I had found out on Friday that I had to be out of my apartment by Sunday and I had an exam on Saturday and so it was just really stressful. But one thing I will say that I have learned over time is that things always do work out at the end of the day and stuff does come together. Just trust that God is for you and not against you. So let's go right here, touch, no pressure just the weight of the knife, no pressure. You see there, let it float right down the side of that mountain. Look at there, look at there. There you go, look at that, see? Literally, I look at Bob Ross's painting and then I look at my painting and it's at this moment that I know like how bad of a fail this was. Like looking at the way that I did the white, I know I didn't have the materials and I was working with watercolor, but oh my goodness, He's like, it's so easy and beautiful and happy. And I'm like, oh no, <laughs> what have I created? <laughs> Honestly, it just goes to show how talented he really is. I feel like if I kept painting, like he probably paints every single day. And I feel like if I did something like every single day over time, I could get good like that. Maybe not like Bob Ross, but like, you know, like above average. All I'm doing is just tapping. Isn't that fantastic? Look at all the little little things it makes in there. Looks like just the tops of thousands of little trees far off in the distance. So just tap downward though. It makes those nice little, little happy tops up there. And don't make them all real even because then they look like fence posts down there. Pull it down. Just grab and pull down, straight down. Is it just me, or is his voice like the most calming thing ever? Like he just sounds so relaxed all the time. 
Anyway, here I am painting on these little hill slash tree things and then adding the reflection to the water. I really wish that I wouldn't have brought the whole green part down all the way to the bottom of the page. I wish that I would have left some blank space because I think the reflection would have looked a lot better. So we gotta put some arms on this tree. Gotta give him some little, little arms so he can reach up and gather the sun up. Look at there. And you can put these everywhere you want to watch here. You can just take the knife and scrape in all kinds of little things. Not to toot my own horn here, but this video reminds me of the time I made a video about relaxing in nature because Bob Ross says, you know, that the trees need some sun and there's a part in that video where I'm like, let's go get some sun. <laughs> And that's one thing I really liked about that video because I think my personality came out and I think that's one thing that I could definitely work on as far as the rest of my videos go because I'm pretty calm when I'm filming but in reality I'm a very sporadic person. I really like to explore and try new things or shop at new places, stuff especially that I can't get at home because I like to have some type of memory associated to a place. For example, if I go to the beach, I might get a bucket of seashells and sand, or if I go to the movies, I might save the movie ticket stubs, and then I will try to either make a scrapbook or some kind of art project from those items. This can be really bad though, because if I pick something up and say that I'm going to make art with it, I usually don't get around to doing it until, you know, six months later or so, and therefore I can have a lot of things stored up in my house, which creates clutter. And so if any of you guys have this problem or have a way to deal with this problem, let me know because definitely I am interested in hearing what you have to say. Also what I'm just showing you right now is that there is a blue and red leak from the page before onto my picture and so what I'm doing is just taking white acrylic and making extra clouds with it and trying to cover it up. I guess that happened because the watercolor got really wet and the ink bled through, which if I would have Considered that at the beginning, I would have started on a completely blank page, but I was trying to save paper, so. Anyway, after I finished doing this, that's pretty much the entire painting. Here you can see it. Um, I hope you guys like this video, and thank you once again for watching, and love, Loren.